Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> All right, so next we get uh, Jung Song Huang, which is a new, it's a new name to the channel, but Ever has actually been obsessed with him for a really long time. I love this guy, dude. I discovered him through, uh, you know, that show of, um, you know, Begin like, Again Korea. That's it. Mm -hmm. That happened a lot during the quarantine and stuff. Yeah. Like. Um, and he, he's, he was always present a lot of the time, and I was yeah. like, oh my God. And then he sang, I was like, holy shit, this, Who is this, this guy? guy's so good. And yep. I started listening to some of his original work, but Bally, he's not very familiar with him. Uh, and this will be the first time I watch him sort of do a lot of his songs like that. I think I only know about five, six songs of him. Um, but they are some of his most popular, so I'll probably recognize some of these. So if you do see me humming, that's probably why. Mm -hmm. But Bally has never heard them. No, no, um, that's right. And I think he's got a very intricate voice, so I'm certainly very interested in your opinion and stuff oh, I'm like that. I'm excited. So let's give it a watch. All right. Hello, friend. Adorbs. 네 여러분 안녕하세요. 어, 새로운 EP 다섯 마디로 돌아온 가수 정성원입니다. 어, 킬링 보이스는 제가 항상 애청자로서만 봐왔었는데 <웃음> 또 이렇게 나와서 <웃음> 네, no 노래를 하니까 I'm 설리고, excited for you too. 네, 그렇습니다. 제 노래를 제가 이렇게 연달아서 길게 불러본 적이 저도 처음이어서 어, 긴장도 되고 그러는데 잘 들려드려보도록. Be fine, bro. You're top level. Oh, he's awesome. This is gonna be great, isn't it? Oh, yes. Change, change. The lighting. Wow. Just watch it. He's awesome. Oh my god, he's beautiful. Ooh. His style is dope as well. Oh god. He's a true storyteller, like That's absolutely stunning. stunning. This was one of his biggest hits. I listen he, to when I want to feel stuff like just feel my emotions. This is the opportunity, man. But yeah, when I, when I, I yeah, when I, so, when I sort of, I feel like it's time for Ephra to just have like a bit of an hour to just open up, deal with my feelings for a bit, and then close off again and you know head out into the world. I listen to him. Oh, wow. yeah, 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 like just so when I'm at like I'm alone or whatever, I might just want to chill, just center, you know. Maybe reminisce about some shit that happened or something. Yes. Uh, listen to him. Any minor inconvenience ever. <laughs> <laughs> Sits on the floor looking at the ceiling, listening to Song Jung. Uh, so
Jung Song Hwan on the floor, just like chilling in there. Yeah, dude, he's really good. He's also, he I think, very popular in sort of like the OST scene. Well, I would, I would think so. He's got so. that voice. He's got the voice. He's got the voice. Yeah. He, I mean, Kyu Hyung and him need to make a, like a song, like a, a big ballad. Him and Henry, <sighs> him and Henry oh. have sort of done a bit, bit, bit some bobs, and him and and Lee Soo Hyung, who's I, I think. A but that's how singer. you were introduced to it. Yeah, they've right, done right, something right, together right. as well. That he's around the top notch stuff oh, from yeah, Korea. Definitely. What yeah. a performer though. He's really in the mood. I like those jeans and I hate jeans. I, I love the look. The yeah. look it's a look. I'm okay I'm okay with Even his posting shit. <laughs> you wanna hug him? <laughs> I'm sure many women do. He's a living Brother. piano. <laughs> he Another great example. He does that. Yeah, he's got a lot. He's got what I call vocal manners. Like he's very um, proper. Proper. Yeah, <laughs> I've noticed that in all his other stuff as well. He's truly very, yeah, respectful of the audience, which I thought was very in- in- interesting. And I don't know whether he comes from academia because this sort of habits of that. It's like don't clear your throat in the mic uh-huh. or don't. Uh, no, not deep breathing in the mic or nothing like that. Don't show fatigue. No. Does it all sort of get yeah, come they're, they do. coached? Well, but they also might come from common sense and, and and no, no, no. Especially because of how pol- how proper and how polite they mm. teach you to be in Korea. That's not something. That's something coached here, but it's not something that I don't think they would emphasize so much because they they already teach you manners from a really young age like you have to do certain things a certain way um so i i suppose maybe perhaps it comes it's more comes cultural, from there yes. yeah i think again i think another example of how culture is intertwined with even the, the way music. of performing of course, yeah. um so i i think yeah i think that's where it comes from again another educated guest please let me know if Maybe perhaps this has been coached. This type of behavior actually does come from. What's his background? That's one of my academia. questions. Academia. That I've always had. Yeah. What's his background? Definitely studied, though. I have to say, a lot of this. Uh, there are certain modulations or certain positionings that he's going towards that are very much thought through, and that you don't naturally stumble upon these things. Because it doesn't seem like uh, the pedigree of like the idol pedigree of like you know the the K-pop idol uh-huh. like the group type of Tra- training, training yeah. system. Yeah, uh, it doesn't seem to be of that uh, pedigree. It seems to be of a different, more sort of like uh, you know academia, more like guided m- music school type. Of yeah, thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I guess they both can lead you to the same direction for sure, um, but he seems to be more aligned to that side of more orthodox approach to stuff. Yeah. I wouldn't know vocally speaking. I would dis- discuss this later, but it does seem to be more orthodox like to me. Mm. Well, we'll, we'll keep looking at But know. you do have people like uh, Kyuhyun, mm-hmm. who he does seem to be orthodox like, but he, he went in a very modernized actually yeah. uh, uh, training. So yeah. I agree. It's, it, that's what I mean. It, it's just educated you guesses. Chen, right, who's also seemed somewhat Dio, more... you Dio. have... Baekhyun. I guess Dio is a good example of modernized. No, but there is a lot of techniques there from his way of singing, especially when he goes to more ballad-heavy stuff. Yeah. You can really hear the the proper vocal training that's behind it. Same as Taeyong. in Baekhyun. And, 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 yeah, there's a lot of examples from different labels under the label system trained under the label system that uh, really focused towards you know vocal health and technicalities that really amplify the longevity of the of the singer um you know an interesting uh, but i i don't know it, it, these are these are just guesses like uh, an interesting one would be someone like sam kim like you know that mm-hmm. that he's on a completely different pedigree but, where he i guess it's more self uh but in him you can hear it there's a lot of uh, I saw his ding uh, his uh, killing verse. Yeah, you showed me. Um, it was absolutely fantastic, by the way. A great, great performance overall. Um, I l- adore his stuff. Yeah, well, it's a good um, thing. But uh, yeah, but in him you can definitely tell there is like 
uh, whatever coaching there is is for other reasons, not so much vocal focused. You don't want to lose they that kinda, personality. Yeah, there, exactly. But. They kind of let him run with with his own take and his own technicalities, and I think that's also important. You can also hear it in, in somebody like John Cook from BTS. Well, I think that, of, that was a conscious choice, as we've seen but, him talk about it. But there you go. Then a lot of the times, it might just take a, a huge leap of faith in in your own in your own person, in your own way of singing, to really uh, find who you are. Someone who intrigues me a lot is as well, like ACMO, like their, their process, because their process was truly unique, right? I think yeah. it was the first duet, truly yeah. acoustic, du- like, well, pop duet that YG ever has <laughs> yes. had. Um, like female, male, like that, siblings, mm-hmm. right? And mm-hmm. their training must have been very peculiar, because they were obviously unpolished at the start when they first began, and they are a very polished product now. Yeah, and I, w- I wonder what the approach was wh- once they were signed into the label, because they were also very young, perfect you trainee ch- age, yeah. but they were never trainees, but they must have gone through a trainee process. Well, you can is, tell. Yeah, so there, there's a lot of thought that goes beyond it, and I think it's, uh, it's interesting because the only ballad... Uh, number that YG had at the moment was Lehigh. At that time, they yeah. had Lehigh, yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So she was the only ballad focus. Balladish, right? And yeah, she- that they, they had under YG, which was also, she also had an edge. She also, also has an edge, you yeah. know, that we'll see it later. Uh, but oh, yeah, it, yeah, yeah, so there, there's, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's an interesting take as well. Like, how do you... Man, it catered towards something that is so specific yeah. that it's not something that your label specifies in. Uh, it's it's really cool. I I, I think yeah well, for sure. With Da Vinci, mm. where you see the two the two girls, yes, the two women. Yes, yes. They're they they've had a comeback or they're having I a comeback it. soon. Yeah, no, no, I heard it. Yeah, it's is already it good? out. Yes, very good. Mm. Yeah, go on. Mm. of the top lip modulation to darken the sound of the vowel. You think that would be... I don't know where it comes from. I don't know. Be personalized or coached or... Don't know. But it certainly seems purposeful enough not to be just... uh... But there's for sure some jaw modulation that's happening that really elongates the bottom jaw. It, it, It filters through, so it helps with that darkening of the... Especially vowel. with the with the vowel, the darkening of the vowel creates a really like a fuller uh, resonance in the chest. Uh, I mean, again, this could be just mannerisms that yeah, he's yeah, picked yeah. up throughout the years and tricks that he's found to make his voice sound the way it sounds. And props, I mean, absolutely fantastic. But it also seems to be really well thought through, maybe spoken about before. Totally, you right. know. <laughs> Make you want the live, right? Wow, how cool! Sir, that came out of nowhere. See, drinking away from the camera. All this, like, really interesting mannerisms. Hey, I've heard it actually. Oh, 
my dizzy heart. Those are quite young, like similar to these two here. Age. 21, 22. guy ever like <laughs> this mother what the I think I like you I think he's trying to I think he's just playing I think he's playing he knows he knows and he knows if he says it like that half of the world will fall in love with him like I mean I mean would things get awkward if I told you like this should I tell you another way actually I have to tell you something but I don't know how so I'm gonna sing it he is ah. he's 25 he's 25 so he's ah. just he's just a year, a year younger, younger than, than you. me yeah yeah well, in international you know, age. No, Sam Kim is 23. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's your age. Yeah, I know. He's so cool. One that is most successful out of the both of us. <laughs> you know, he's kicking everyone's <laughs> ass. <laughs> he's got the juice. <laughs> he's doing so well. So happy for yeah, you. Yeah, me too. I, I love him. So and, you're not jealous? Uh, I love him and his cats. And huh? his live streams in his with his cats. His, his live streams are very enjoyable. His cats, I know nothing about. Yeah, his live streams. He's always good with his cats. Those are the things. I was walking around. Yeah. Oh, I thought he had like, I don't know, normals or something. <laughs> no. I thought no. it was a dog, to be fair. I thought it was a dog. Because I, I, never, I never saw him like stroke the cat or anything like that. No, he always like has a go at the cats when they're doing something wrong halfway through the thing. <laughs> like He's people. like, stop. <laughs> <laughs> but how but, nice is this? This is so That's cute. why I love this guy. I love this. He has a manner with his words, which is like, um, it's colloquial, it's true, it's real, it's, it's so young, relatable. it's oh relatable, God. but it's also artistic and poetic. And, and and mature, it doesn't feel like it's flitting, like it, like mm. these emotions aren't just going to pass you I by. love that sentence, my dizzy heart, will you know? <laughs> That's lovely. Isn't no, it? actually, maybe, let me tell you why I've been avoiding you yeah. this day's because maybe I think no, actually, perhaps I think I like you fuck you know what is it bro Who is with actually? 
buat live driver like you know they go left left right right to not create yeah. resistance on it on itself uh, it is hard and what i mean by melodic trajectory i guess is exactly what it says on the tin it, it's the journey in which he takes he embodies uh, to execute the song mm. um and a lot of these songs though, are not linear they're yeah. very not linear <laughs> yeah and even though this is like a very uh, a shorter performance compared to the other it's only on the shorter ones, side compared yeah, to the other ones, yeah. um Still 13 minutes long, which is like what wow, there's uh, it's intense. Given given the complexity of each track, because each track holds an incredible amount of intensity, because uh, they all focus in a completely different realm of singing. Uh, even though the style of his singing doesn't change, this style of the music does, especially on that "Let's Go to the Ocean" song. Oh my God, it felt very classical, written like it, like a composition with classical influences in, in you know, Beethoven-like, yeah? So you get, the, you get like, no, <laughs> yeah. for real. Is it, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, but you have this, like, really complex compositions and intricate voice um, journeys and choices that you have to make and uh, in a very sh short space of time. Yeah, and you have to detach yourself from the last piece into the new one in a, in a really quick and easy manner. Like, I don't know, as if it was like easy cheese out of a can. What I don't he, know. What he's doing, yeah, it's very hard. And he makes it look so easy as if it wasn't hard. And I guess that's what makes him outstanding because I guess he could settle with more sort of, you know, more yeah linear tracks, more sort of monotonous tracks. But, but these are his tracks. like Yeah, so that's what I mean. I guess he could settle... But I think what makes him outstanding is that the fact that he does understand he's a ballad artist. He, like, he's very good at that. And 
also acoustic settings, but his most popular music seems to be ballad. And he's, he understands that he seems to have to compose things that go outside of the ordinary because yeah. um, I don't even think he'll be satisfied then with himself. And no, I don't think so either. I, I think he might be a perfectionist given the, the way that he performs and the, and complexity. the choices that he's making. One thing I can yeah. tell for sure though, he's got a fucking good team with him. Oh, a hundred percent. I don't know who he's with, what label, but the people that he's surrounded by, Jesus Christ. Absolutely, I agree. Goddamn. I missed all this too. Oh! I'm watching... I'm watching this right now. Oh, really? Yeah, this is with IU, by oh. the way. Yeah. Yeah, so he's, 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 one the, of the he's one of the OSTs. I didn't know it was his. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's very popular in OSTs. Yeah. Well, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And for a good reason, this song starts playing in the most critical moment. Really? And yeah. you're like, oh my god, my heart. <laughs> I never heard it. I never heard it. And and this drama is really interesting though because it's not so much about like it's it's like a romantic relationship, but it's not really on the romantic like let's hold hands and fight the world right off in the sunset type of romance it's more of like a how small details in your everyday life and like small phrases can like impact you and it's like building a wholesome relationship before it becomes romantic it's it's really intricate because the story friendship like, before love type of a no concept. because it's like a, it's like understanding before love because he is in his mid 40s and she's in her early 20s and they meet in the most of random, like she's she's having the crappiest time in her life. She owes money to this uh, shark loans, and she's trying to pay back this debt, and she's doing all this shady stuff. And he he's going through a really tough time in his life because he wants to be better in the company that he's at, and um, his wife is cheating with his boss, and he doesn't know, and he finds out through this girl. Hey and, man, woo, spoiler! It's all though. This this came out in like 2018. All right. So if you don't know, now you know. Now you know. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it's is it is it a series of Walucha reviews? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you're. Because like... I think some of some of those dramas that you watch, because I yeah, and that's not kind of my cup of tea. But I did. It would be think... cool to see your review of it. The thing is, like, I didn't think I was gonna like it because throw up the rose. Throw up the rose. I absolutely. Uh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't think I was gonna like it, because is because the reviews online said, oh, it's a ten out of ten, but y you have to stick with it. Like the resolution so is the really satisfying. Yeah, like people says, so like this, the beginning might be slow and you might be really frustrated throughout it, Let's but stick to it. Yeah, is stick it an to hour it. long episode. Yeah, yeah, and it's it, I think it's sixteen episodes as well. So mm. uh, I'm halfway through it right now, but it's it's yeah, it's really intricate because it's like the attention to details in the interaction. Yeah, and it's not really like I don't know what the ending is gonna be. Like no, I'm really intrigued. Yeah, watch it. Let me, yeah, let us know if you guys would like a ballet review. That would be really good. Sure. Swap the roles, yeah. So places, I have to sit on the right then. <laughs> okay. Okay, go. Yeah, this song hits different, bro. <laughs> because the time signature is so weird. And the song is so weird. Korean ballads are wonderful. Though. They do it so differently. Oh, <laughs> 
지금까지 정성원이었습니다. 감사합니다. No, thank you. <웃음> he is stupid and he walked off with the swagger. He's in a s t a t e I mean, he's a vibe. He's a vibe. Hey, I have no more to say. Just. Hey, hey, friend, that was awesomeness. I'm glad you enjoyed it because he's one of my favorite singers that I've discovered by by accident. Actually, just he was just there in the show and. I guess the show did its job, right? Yeah, I, it, that's exactly what I think it's worth. It, it it's, is worth it. It's fantastic. I, I'm very excited. Yeah, I, I'm very excited to see what you guys so think. I, I know a lot of you guys may know who he is. Some of you may not, but uh, he's very fucking famous, though. Not he's to say known. it like he's that. Known. He, he's very known. He's known. Um, but yeah, it's always interesting because you know we get so many people watching from all over the world. That yeah. that's still mad, mad to say. Um, so thanks so much for all the support and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, let us know if perhaps you, you've discovered some singers with us or. Or, um, or who have you discovered throughout your Future Friday journey? That's right. Um, that'd be know. really fun to know.